what is up guys this is Kirk and welcome to another one of my videos now in this video I'm gonna talk about how you can install plugins for you for your brand new bucket server so let's get started basically what you want to do is open up Chrome come on go to bucket.org and then click on this link that says get plugins now in each server that I have well owned and administered I have installed the very first plugin which is called the essentials here it is it's called essentials it has like about as it says 100 commands useful on just about every server so let's download it basically what you do is you go and select it go to download and then you can see here the change log since the previous version and then click on the download button wait for it it's about one megabyte they're not really large plugins it's about like it can be from 50 kilobytes to about I don't know one megabyte that this one is uh, sorry go to your Dropbox folder then your brand new server then inside the plugins folder you can see it's empty so what I want to do is I open up the essentials.zip select every .jar file as you can see essentials.jar essentials chat.jar essentials protect.jar and essentials spawn.jar and then go and just unzip them inside my plugins folder now the installation is this easy now what you want to do is launch your server this is gonna set up the plugins wait for it You can see here enabling essentials. And when it's done, you can just stop your server. Kind of like this. Now, every plugin can be configured to whatever you want uh, you want it to do from its options. For example, uh, if I go to plugins essentials and then this is the configuration file config.yml edit it with notepad++ here it is if you want to use special characters in this document such as accented letters etc 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 now for example let me log in into my server and just show you how this conf this plugin is config Launch Minecraft. Come on. Login. Multiplayer. Dark Connect. Local host. Login in. Come on. As you can see now I have been logged in. Now if I try for example to what the hell I'm lagging. If I try for example to I don't know like um, for example to see what plugins I have. There they are, they have been enabled. Now another command is for example Mm, I don't know, just suicide. Like this. Now, I just wanna tell you what you can do. I don't think I'm an operator here. Let me type something. I'm not an operator. You can see my name over here. It's on white. It must be on green or in red, whatever you set it up. And this is just it. Now, for example, I can operate myself. Well, operate, make me an operator, whatever. 
like this. Now, let me try something. If I type something in the chat, it's gonna be on red. And now I can do more complicated commands, for example, like, I don't know, you can see this chord over here, slash smite, like this, it just throws uh, thunder, now, if you're not an operator, for example, like this, if I try to shoot a thunder again, you do not have, to have access to that command. That means you must be an operator to operate the Essentials plugin. Now, what I'm gonna teach you in the next lesson is how you can set up the, prop the permissions so that even a person who is not an operator can operate this plugin, for example, like shoot thunders, well, not that one, and do many more things. For now, let me close Minecraft and go back to my config.yml file. Ops name color. Now this is a color code. You can search in Google for Minecraft. I think color codes. Yeah. Now name prefix. The characters to prefix all nicknames so that you know they are not true usernames. This is for nicknames. This change the display name. Disable this if you have an, uh, any other plugin that modifies the display name of the user. Basically that's it. Teleport cooldown. Requires between home, TP, etc. Oh, this is the cooldown and the delay for teleporting. Teleporting vulnerability. Heal cooldown, etc. etc. Item spawn blacklist. This is if you want to, for example, uh, restrict an item so that other users cannot use it. I don't care. Spawn mob limit. How many spa mobs you can spawn, for example. Let me try to do something. I open up Minecraft again. Come on, logging in. Multiplayer. Damn it. What the hell? For example, let me make myself an operator again. Like this. Now, for example, I, if I want to spawn, say, five sheep over here, I just point at this location and type in slash spawn mob sheep, for example, like five. Like this. There's, there seems to be a glitch over here, but there they are, right here. Now, what Essentials also does is, for example, if I want to, say, give myself 10 gold, instead of typing like give and then my color code, which is in numbers, what I can do is give curve 12 gold ingots, ingot, and then my, the number of ingots that I want, for example, like 5, and there they are, it just ignores any uh, well, item code or data value, however you want to call it. And basically, that's it for this tutorial. Now, you might want to take a look inside the config that the while mail and just change some th some things. So, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna be talking about how you can set up your various your permissions so that users, if they even are not apps, they can change things inside, things inside your server, perform commands, etc. So I'll be seeing you guys next time, just take care.